You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. So Drake and Kendrick, <laughs> they released diss tracks within 30 minutes last night. Um, Drake released Family Matters. Kendrick released Meet, Meet the Grams. And um, we're about to talk about this, man, because it's getting personal now. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit that sub button. Click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Drake was first up with Family Matters. And he actually dropped like a video for this. Um, shout out to my boy, Jay Kid. He sent it to me. And he kept saying, bro, listen to this. Listen to this. It wasn't like I wasn't going to listen to it. I was actually trying to watch my damn Clippers play, but we got beat. So it is what it is. I knew we was going to lose, you know. But shout out to Dallas Mavericks. I, um, Kyrie Irving, one of my favorite players, going against OKC. So I know that's going to be a great um, um, round right there, series. All right. so. Drake, um, he's going personal on his turn. He said, you mentioned my seed now. Deal with his dad. Um, I got to go bad. I got to go bad. Yada, yada, yada. Um, among the um, sparling shots that Kendrick took at him. So he's actually talking about Kendrick's fiance, Whitney Alford. Damn, I thought they got married. So this is, see, this is. This is, I don't know if it's true or not. Are they married or not? Please, somebody let me know in the comment section. So, um, Drake said, don't even go back to your hood and plant no money trees. He's talking about the money trees track that came out in 2012. Say you hate the girls, I F, but you really mean. I've been with black and white and everything is in between. You the black messiah wiping up a mixed queen and hit vanilla cream to help out with your self-esteem. All right. Well, we know there was people to attack, attacking Kendrick, saying he should have never talked about Drake being biracial because he has a biracial wife. Um, there is some 50-50 on both sides. I understand that, but I'm not going to get into that right now because that's, that's something for another time to break that down. So things get off limits more. He says, why you never hold your son and tell him, say, cheese? We could all let the kids out of this and don't blame me. He suggests that one of um, Lamar's two children, the son and the daughter, was actually fathered by Dave Free, who has been a creative partner to Lamar for years. Dave Free was over there with um, Kendrick at TDE, more like a manager, like business partner. And that's his best friend, too. He's actually helped him start up PG Lane. OK, on Lamar's Euphoria, he name checks a Toronto Chinese restaurant called New Ho King. And in the video for Family Matters, Drake appears at the restaurant itself. Kendrick just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. Where is your uncle at? Because I want to talk to the man of the house. Ta! So he comes back about Tupac Shakur's estate sent to him over Taylor May Freestyle. Would Drake use AI to create the vocals? I'm glad that track was taken down because that track was boo boo stain. So Drake states that Lamar was one of the um, people who encouraged the estate to fire back at Drake. Who removed his son from social media shortly after they threatened to see him? Hmm. I don't know how true that is. I don't have no information on that. If y'all got information, please let me know in the comment section. A season assist is for hoes. Can't listen to lies that come out of your mouth. You called the Tupac estate and begged them to sue me and take that shit down. Um, our sons should go play at the park. Two light skinned kids. That shit would be cute unless you don't want to be seen with anyone that's blacker than you. Ta. So he's he's taking his shots. So, so Kendrick, he responds back, like I said, less than an hour, like 30 minutes. Meet the Grams, on which each verse is addressed directly at Drake's family members. He's talking about his son, Adonis, his mother, Sandra, the father, Dennis, apparently, and a daughter. I didn't know Drake had a daughter. See, this is all new to me. Just like we discovered Adonis in, um, from Pusha Team 2018. He's talking to um, the daughter. Drake has never been addressed. He said, Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that the man is your father. Let me be honest, it takes a man to, to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa would have wore a condom. I'm sorry that you got to grow up 
and then stand behind him. See, like I said, they, those type of shots, I know it's battle rap, don't get me wrong, but it's getting too personal, especially when he tells his mother um, in the second verse, Dear Cedric, your son got some habits. I hope you don't undermine them, especially with all the girls that hurt him aside his climate. And then he moves to his father by saying, you gave birth to a master manipulator. Then he also says this. This is the part that tripped me out. He says, I think uh, niggas like him, talking about Drake, should die. Him and Weinstein should get F up in a cell for the rest of their life. He hates black women, hyper-sexualizes them with kinks of a nympho fetish. They ain't no peace treating, bro. They ain't no peace treating after that. You can't be cool. Once you call somebody a pedophile, a sex predator, regardless if it's true, if this shit is true, because I ain't, like I said, if this shit is true about Drake, and Drake know that he said that about, man, you think he about to do another song with him? You think they're going to go on stage and say it's over the world? Man, hell no. Nah. There are certain things you can never say about somebody. That's like claiming somebody say you, he, they, they raped somebody. Then you come out and say, oh, I was, I was just playing. You can't play with somebody's life like that. I'm being real. Like, I know it's rap battle. But to me, I'm saying they ain't going to never be on a level, a level of friendship saying, oh, bro, you know, it's cool now, man. We we made some mistakes, man. You know how that it goes down, man. We were just being friendly, man. You know, it was, it was cool, right? We're going we're gonna to drink it up. We're going to do another song. We're going to do another um, swimming pools. Part two, part three, no. No, hey, that's, that stuff not going down. Well, okay. I feel the rap battle is good for hip-hop. I know there's a shift in the culture now, but I feel like once you start dragging the family in and the children, like, I'm it, I'm not saying, I know it's, it's no gloves in, um, in, in, in war. You know, all fair love of war. You know what I'm saying? I know it's that's okay. You know, um, I just feel like, you know, it's, it's going another direction. It's going another direction. And I feel like, what's next? Um, What's next? Like, to me, I feel like the battle is over. This is more of the aftermath. I feel like everything that we're learning about Drake's life that we didn't know now, we're learning more. Kendrick put on the, um, is the cover for Drake's uh, Meet the Grams. That this, he had like, I guess it was like prescriptions, um, receipts, some gloves. I guess he got this from his father's suitcase or Drake's suitcase. I, I, I could be wrong. Drake had the Kendrick Lamar um, band from the Good Kid Mad City album cover. As far as like towing it, saying I'm destroying who you are. Okay. Drake has some bars. He says some things on the Family Matters track. I listened to it a couple of times. Kendrick said a lot of personal stuff. So my thing is this. They not finished. There's going to be more. To me, what else is next? Are, will they continue to throw the children? Will they continue to throw that, oh, the infidelity? We know about that. Kendrick addressed that on Mr. Morale the Big Steppers. Will they continue to, like Drake addressed that Kendrick was beating Whitney. He was beating her up a few times. That's why Kendrick moved to New York. See, I always wonder why Kendrick moved to New York, too. I was like, damn, why he moved to New York? And he um he sold his house in Manhattan Beach. See, I didn't see that. All these things is kind of still like, wow. Not saying this 100% true, but now it's just more like, this is soap opera shit. It's just like, all right, this is cool. Y'all telling the world, but this is soap opera shit now. Now y'all just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We The battle was still good, but can we... What's going to be next? Are y'all going to scrap it out? Or are y'all camps going to meet up and see each other on tour sometime? Or maybe somebody in passing at a, at a you know, outside the country or something. Somebody going to see somebody. And I hope it don't go down like that. Because in hip hop history, we've seen entourages. Somebody gets hurt. Somebody gets shot. Somebody sometimes even get deleted. Post your comments below. Post smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support, donate to the channel. I have Patreon on patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Till next time, salute.